our New Year's party. We're still getting things set up at the moment, but uh, once it gets going, it's gonna be a real hoot. We're gonna have snacks and games and even our very own ball drop. Yay! Not yet. Anyway, we were just about to head in to watch our first short of the evening. It's called Act Your Age. Intro check. What's it about? It's about 14 minutes. Bad joke check. Bite, what are you doing? Checking off my itinerary. Uh, Bite, can't you put down the clipboard, you know, just for once and enjoy yourself? It's New Year's Eve. No, it's already been accounted for. See? 8.40 to 8.45. Put clipboard down and enjoy myself. Okay. Bite, you will thank me for this later. What? Hey guys, I... Ah! <clears throat> nom, 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 nom. Well, time to get in and watch that short. Come on, Bite. Um, uh, I think I broke him. We'll meet you in there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, merry belated Christmas, everyone. I sprung for new theater seats. Look, upholders. Team Galactic Films presents... You can't make me! You're not my real father! At your own age! Didn't he invent the airplane? No, you've got the wrong right. But how can the right be wrong? Because it's not the right right! How's the wrong when it's right? Because it's the wrong right to be the right right! Third base! Dear Sant... Oh, this is hard. Weird thing is, this is history class. I've got it! 3y equals fish! That's stupid. Patooey! Yeah, I should have just stuck my gum in here. A young Jim Henson flunks algebra. Oh well, might as well practice my calligraphy. Kilroy was here. Jimmy Oval's Mambo. Quick, turn it into a toucan! My spider sense is tingling. I was just carving the lesson into my hand. Thumbs are filthy. What kind of last name is Principal? <gasps> Walt Disney! Uh, sir? 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 No! Oh, how'd you get in here? What is it? Well, Mr. Evans, uh, Miss Black wanted me to bring this to you. Oh? P. My darling, 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 I love you madly. What? Won't you sit down, Jim? I wish you hadn't seen this. Now I have to kill you. I understand you have an unusual pencil, Jim. Who told you? Yes, sir. That is, it's nothing special, but you're rather proud of it. It has my name on it. I won it in an essay contest. I was the only yes, contestant, sir. but still. Pardon me. Personally, I think that something Juicy fruit. like this is better for carving. I'll fix the desk, Mr. Edmonds. I'll sand it down and refinish it. You won't be able to tell where I scratched it at all. 
That's a good idea, Jim. I'll begin today after school. That would be fine. Whoa! Well, what else do you want me to do, Mr. Edmonds? Relinquish your immortal soul to me, Jim. Perhaps you can help me with the problem. I'd like your advice, Jim. My advice? Yes, I've got quite a serious problem. I've contracted poliosis. There are a great many young people in the school, Jim. And we have no clue where they're coming from. Each is an individual. But in one important way, they're all alike. They're all growing up. Growing up? Is What's that? Is that the problem, Mr. Edmonds? Yes, growing up is a problem. It must be stopped. Because, well, I remember one time I watched some of the boys play ball. And one of them beamed me. Who are He's you again? I've seen it too. The boys were all about your age. In years, they're young men. But sometimes, in their behavior... They're crutchy old farts. They act like children? That's it. A boy batting struck out and... What darn, the darn, he darn, made? darn, 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 man in years. But the way he behaved was more in keeping with a five-year-old. Damn it, damn when you, you damn this sport! The thing, you think, Squish, oh, right into the dog grow up sometime. But at 15 or 16, this boy was still reacting the same way. And lying in the dog He was boot. still showing violent temper when little things went wrong for him. So the question is, why doesn't he grow up? Why does he still behave as a child? Well, that's the other test, sir. How can we help him get rid of these leftovers from childish behavior? Clean out his fridge. That sort of behavior we call an infantile reaction. Infant. You're just making no up words. It spoils the game for others. Why can't he act his age? I made myself sad. I scratching a desk spoils it for others, too. Why can't I act my age, eh? Dang it, Jim. I'm a principal, not a psychiatrist. That's what I'd like to know, Jim. Well, you know what to do about the desk. But now this pencil. It's ticking. If you were a first grader, I'd just keep it, wouldn't I? Oh, but Mr. Edmonds, I'm not... Competent to stand trial. Not a first grader. Hmm. Oh, you're not. So suppose you start fixing that desk, come back for your pencil when you feel you're ready for it. Yes, sir. Oh, it's gone. You're right, Jim. Okay, I'm ready for it. Why can't I act my age? What was I thinking? <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, well. Fix up the desk and forget about the whole thing. But your pencil needs you, Billy. Jim, whatever. Pencil gone? Oh, yes. I hate it. Maybe one of these pencils will do it. <laughs> Open up, you dirty, stinky, stupid cat. Hey, act your age. Bite me, Puffy. No use getting sore. That won't open the can. Maybe a steamroller. Hello? Oh, Mr. Olsen? <laughs> Cliff became a janitor. Need some help, son? Why, yes. Do you have a knife or something to open this? Yes, I guess so. Either you do or you don't. You it's know, not that hard. Up a desk, I see. No, a pencil. A pencil? Blasphemy! <laughs> Bright crop of young fellows in this school. Every day, think up a new way to act like babies. Yeah, Never keep grow. talking, old man. Still little boys playing with Mormons. Mormons? Pencils, knives, pulling girls' hair. Well, there's no sense in cleaning up hair until you're through. I'll come back later. I hope I've shamed you properly. Still little boys. Playing with marbles, eh? <laughs> I never thought of pulling a girl's hair before. But That's genius! It's true. Remember what Bill did yesterday. He was sitting right there. On Capitol Hill. I guess he thought no one was looking when he took Jean's notebook. But God is always is he looking. Cheating? Probably. Hang him! So Shoot him! Burn him with a rock! Do. That's a child's way out. Then there was Phyllis the other day. She seemed to be worrying about something. I hope nobody can Ms. smell Black that. Her, and she wasn't ready with an answer. Why? Yes, I stole the cookie from the cookie jar. She almost <laughs> cried. Just like a little girl. Remember, showing emotion yeah, is wrong. That's it. 
An infantile reaction. I'll stick this up my nose. Why don't we act our age? Because we're Americans. I'm going to talk to Mr. Edmonds again. And Ask give him the what tomorrow. for? I've given it a lot of thought and... Well, I'm not the only one, Mr. Edmonds. We all think you're Everyone full of it. Everyone seems to act childish sometimes. But I don't understand just why. Well, it's... Partly because of the way we grow up. Your body's growing up now, Jim. And it's quite you're attractive. You're much taller these years. But it may be some years more before your shoulders really broaden out and you become fully grown. Hulk smash! Growing up emotionally is much the same. Different parts of our personalities grow at different rates. My compassion is shunted and tiny. Tired. So one side of a fellow's personality could be grown up... And others could and be shriveled and dead? Infantile. Is that right? Yes. For example, you've seen the girl who always has to win an argument. <laughs> like my grandma. Most of the time, she behaves like a young lady. But let someone disagree with her. Well, she might just as well be five years old. We see reactions like this. Furthermore, you're a blockhead! Then there's the fellow who can't take a joke. He laughs as hard as anyone at most jokes, but when the joke's on him... And your out. mother's fat! His five-year-old brother would react the same way. Why is it always five? Why are you Yoda and your mother? Ooh! There's the boy who constantly shows off to gain attention. Amateur. There's the girl who cries over trifles. I spilled my trifles. Then remember, there's the ball player who becomes violently angry when he loses out. Damn you and all the horses you rode in on! But I took the bus! Those are some of the many infantile reactions we see around us every day. They indicate that a part of one's personality isn't growing up with the rest. Now, what we need is some method of measuring our growth. Yeah. Comparing various parts of our personalities. Say, I have an idea, Mr. Edmonds. I'm going to cut off my I arm and count I the rings. My age. Anyway, I'd like to try. Just a minute. Don't you want your pencil? No, sir. I'll wait until I know how old I am. Besides, I stole it anyway. Let's see. I was born in 1910. Oh, no, that can't be right. When someone disagrees with me... I spit. When someone pokes fun at me... I poke back. When I want attention... Get the... Da -da 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 confused. When I don't get what I want. Murder is the only option. There. A list. I guess those are pretty important times to watch out for infantile reactions. I did not hit her! I, I did not! And then see how well I can grow. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hello, Mr. Olson. What, you buddy? <laughs> Carved up another desk already? No, I'm just trying to figure out how old I am. Ask your mother. She didn't how know either. How old I am and the way I behave. Oh, don't rate yourself too high. I won't, Burl. I won't bother you, will I? No, this is too important. Do you know where all this blood came from? Because I sure don't. I thought of it two days ago. It took so me I a month. I several copies of this and had my parents rate my age in each of these points. And my best friend. Why do you have your parents you rate your best friend? exactly high in some places. But it looks like a good rating system. But why'd you write it but in crayon? Well... I'll have to work hard to bring my rating up. I'm thinking of adding a precocious yeah, cousin. Instance, where it says, how old am I when I don't get what I want? I rated myself 10 years old. And my dad put it even lower than that. And my mom so laughed I'm me out of the room. I'm going to get in the habit of controlling my temper. And maybe next month I'll have a better rating. Or at and least a better year, posture. I want to catch up with my real age. That's something to look forward to. I'll say. Well, I'm not going to tell you all my ratings. But I thought you might want a copy of this. I certainly would. I'm out of toilet paper. I think everyone here should rate himself and have his friends rate him this way. There's nothing like sure neatly organized even. peer group and judgment. Get rid of those infantile reactions. Uh, What's this stain? I think I'd like my pencil back now. It's there on the desk. I don't see it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Oh. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Edmonds. Goodbye. He's going to talk to us, isn't he? Oh, jeez. How old are you? Three and a half. Wouldn't you like to try rating yourself on a sheet like this? 
But I haven't studied for this! You have to enter D for everything. But they're all essay questions! So? And his eyes open. And Natalie's a werewolf too. And Rosebud was a sled. And she was dead all along. And the Titanic thinks. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. It's been a King Friday Films presentation. So an hour after dinner ends, Aunt Tilly swaggers in with Boyfriend of the Month number three and puts her bunny feet up on the table and demands that somebody heat up the leftovers for them. I let Bob do it. <laughs> and nothing says stop coming over like brimstone in your brisket. Hi, Flicker! Hi, pain in the neck! Actually, my neck feels pretty good. Why don't you go bug someone else? It's a party, there's plenty to choose from. There's a party? Can I go? I dropped my hat. You're already here. I am? Boy, that was fast. Who's it for? It's a New Year's party. Uh, who's he? Are you, if you blow into his ear, his head will whistle. It's a party. You with me so far? Uh huh. To celebrate the end of the year. The year's gonna end? That's the gist of it. But, but, there's still so much stuff I wanted to do this year. Well, tough cookies, Nancy. Unless you can do it in the next six and a half hours, you're out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Flicker brand, instant drama. Just that idiot. <laughs>